Hello and welcome to Below Average Gaming. I am the Below Average Gamer and today we are in play.hellominers.com. My favorite server! A lot of fun. Really great. Um, yeah, so today I actually just the other day finished building a... Um, so, oh, hey. Hey, Harry Bear GB. I just finished building a new section of the maze. Actually, let's go ahead and check that bro out because I'm pumped. I'm super excited. So let's do that. So here we are. My little area, do 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 do. It's the uh, the uh, Cthulhu maze. It's one of my favorite things in the entire server that I've ever built. Yeah, that and the job center that me and uh, Nasher 04. Such a tiny little. Is that the same guy who just asked if there were any uh, moderators? <coughs> oh, hey, I do. Zero, one, two, three. I hate that. Don't you hate that? You get it on a server that you enjoy, that you really like playing, and someone comes and just tries to destroy all the fun. That's not cool, man. But, uh, yeah. So, just wanted to show you this thing. Here's my maze. You've seen my maze before, but never like this. The maze is now twice as big. I've added... That means I've added two times. That's two of the times as much wicked cool stuff. I want to check and make sure that you can see these tanks from in here. That was one of the designs that I wanted. So you could see part of the tank here. Yeah, cool. I wanted this wall here to be open so you can kind of tell at least a little bit more. Um what's going on in this section now I'm in the maze um, oh and I don't have my <laughs> there we go okay perfect cool so now I'm in the maze um I don't know how to get out I hate being in this thing I built it but I hate being in it just because it is so g darn complicated it's like a it's like a real maze and then on this section ooh, I'm actually gonna do it should I go to this door Not today, friend. Bum, 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 bum. Ooh, shoot. I forgot about this. This is the drop. Okay, so once you go here, there's nothing you can do but just drop down and die. So, rather than doing that, no one kills me but me. Well, I guess I built this, so I also um, kill me regardless. Anyway, um, yeah. Hey, thanks for joining. I appreciate you doing that. That's really cool. I, I feel like people are really taken to this Hello Miner series. I, I say this 24 episodes in, but I feel like people are really taken to this series and enjoying it. Um, especially the people who play the actual server, you know. I've had some stuff like, you know, make the video screen smaller, which I have. If you check, I have made it a quarter centimeter smaller. You're welcome. Um, yeah, and I added the thing up, I think it's up on this section, it's up, oh, it's up on the entire thing, but it's up on the entire thing there, so you can see what server I'm on, so if you do check out, and you're like, oh, this is the whole thing, I've noticed that, um, just randomly teleported, um, yeah, I have noticed, um, what was I saying, who was there, oh, people don't read, like, the descriptions to the, to videos ever, like, ever, and I, I would put, like, oh, play.hellominers.com in the description, and, like, people wouldn't even notice, or they'd be like, oh. You know how it is. How people is. <laughs> it's one of my favorite cards in Cards Against Humanity. The way white people is. Um, but, yeah, you know, I've noticed that people don't do that. And, yeah, it's a little uh, upsetting sometimes, but I'm not going to let it get to me. Because I don't care. If you don't, if people don't watch the content, you look at, let me put it this way. I love when people watch the content. I do. I honestly love when people watch the content. You know what I love more than that? I love getting feedback on the content. I love checking. Why is all this gold in here? I should have all this on me at all times. I love getting content. I love getting feedback from the from the channel, from the server, and stuff like that. Of just people letting me know what they love, what they enjoy about the videos. And if they don't love or enjoy the videos, you know, why? What can I do to change that? What can I do to give you a good time? Call this number for a good time. You know? Hey, play Shell Shock Live 2. That's a, yeah. I do. Good. Oh, I do love the game. Okay. Shell Shock Live 2. Uh, Below Average Gamer, play that. Because I know I'm going to forget, so I'm telling you right now to play this in future. This is past you. Telling future you to do that. Hey, have you won the lottery yet, future me? Well, you should keep on trying. I feel like that is a good investment and a good use of your time. Back to regular. Here we are. Um, got to do this. But one of the things I hate about this game, shoot, I'm saying this, is um, the anvil always breaks. And the anvil takes up so much iron 
and it's really only used for enchanting stuff. I, I understand enchanting stuff's a big thing, but I think it should be like just an advanced crafting table, even if it is a little bit more complicated to make. I'm just gonna take all the apples. Even if it, the the anvil were a little bit more complicated to make, like if it took like part diamond or something like that, I'd be happy with that. Um, as long as it didn't break. <coughs> Dying. <laughs> As long as it didn't break quite so often, because it breaks, I feel like I go through it all the time. And it's always for the dumbest stuff, where I'm going to go name an iron golem or something, and it ends up breaking. And I'm like, okay, well, come on. Like, I didn't even use it for anything important, and it's, and it's gone, and it's dead. Whatever! Oh man, I spent 2k the other day. Let's see, so I should be like 412? Four, I made money! Awesome. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Whatever, it's fine. I don't care. I'm gonna go buy some zombie eggs. Hey, I'm showing you where I get my zombie eggs. Don't do this because those are all for me. Those are all mine, and I don't want you, whoever you are, going and stealing them. Okay? Because it's a really good place I go. I believe it's owned by Eight Maze at Eight, something like that. But we'll go and we'll see because uh, it's a really good shop. It's located in this city here, Soleil City Tunnel. I only know how to pronounce it because I actually have a friend named Soleil. Other than that, I would just say Salil. So, so I don't get those two, so I don't get a person and a place confused. I'm going to call this Salil, so I don't call um, it after my friend Salil. Salil Public Job Facility. I don't need that right now. Main portal. That's what I need. I would like to go here. <coughs> I got, a, got all the jibblies in my throats. I don't know why it's always so laggy when I... Oh, I know why. It's because of all of these banners. Yes, I remember banners, picture frame signs, those are all things that cause lag. And look at all these banners. Sweet Lottie baby Jesus. That is a lot of banners. I'm gonna... Out of stock! What? Oh, and it is 888 Mesa 888. I was off by 4 eights, which comes out to 32. 32 eights. 32 ones. That's pretty cool. I like that design. A little rainbow thing. Yeah, these are all really cool designs of the banners, but my god, I am so slow when I'm here. Why? Because my computer's not too great. I'm gonna say that. Because everyone's like, just play this game. I have people who are like, hey, you know, I, first off, I would love to. But they're like, I, I, I just can't. They're like, let's play Grand Theft Auto, you and me. And I'm like, yeah, let's do that. And then I join them. Like, eh, 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 oh, oh, oh. And they're like, hey, what's going on, man? You're kind of breakdancing in the middle of the road. Why is that? I mean, I'm not opposed to it. I'm just curious why. And I'm like, I'm sorry, my my thing's just not quite to it. <coughs> oh, is that a Deadpool one? I want to buy that. No, I can't buy it. Darned it. I want that Deadpool. But if you play on the server and you, uh, if why, okay. So here's a shout out to you, whoever you are. Play If you play on the server and you get me a Deadpool banner, I will give you a shout out in the thing. Like, not just like, hey, look, it's Drake Thorn. Drake, Drake Thorks or something, I'll like legit be like, hey, cool guy, really cool. I might even do, hey, look, if you give me a cool gift, I'm not saying it's the Deadpool thing, but if you give me a cool gift, something really sick, something really sweet, I might give you a sick shout out. Sick, uh, I might give you a chic shout out in the, in the, in the, in an episode. Oh, excuse me. Yes. Yeah, I might give you a shik shout out in uh, the thing. Suicide. I want to make some villagers because I know you guys love when I make villagers. You're like, man, I love when he just wastes our time. 2016. I'm in the wrong spot. Oh, I need to get my axe. My sick axe. They used to sell um weapons in the server uh, shop, which was on, which was on um hellominers.com/store, and they don't anymore. And I understand it's like legal stuff, but you know, there's ways around that. I'm sure there's loopholes or something, but I get it. You know, you don't want to deal with legal stuff. You don't want to deal with like, oh, the loophole didn't work the way we wanted. Now we owe the government. We now we owe Mojang seven million dollars, and it's like, oh, you know how that works. You know, look, we're all billionaires. We're all secret billionaires. We all know how that works. Oh, it's all the way over here, isn't it? I'm an idiot. Oh, sorry. It's early. It's uh, well, it's not early. I think it's like 10 right now, 10 a.m. Uh, so it's not early at all in any way. I don't know why I said that. 
but my voice is kind of still like, hello, I just woke up. Nobody talked to me. Um, yeah. I had my cup of coffee. I did not use my brainwave generator today. So I should do that soon so that I can be ready for the day. Um, because I am feeling a little, I'm not tired, but I feel like my body isn't, like, completely on right now. You know, if that makes sense. Like, like my, my, I'm, I'm awake. If I lay down in bed right now, I, I most likely would not go back to sleep. That's, I put it that way. I would not go back to sleep if I laid in my bed right now. Um, but at the same time, like, I, my brain is just not fully awake right now. But I don't know what it is. That's why I'm playing Minecraft. I'm actually have my car in the shop right now. They said, um, well, I'll come pick it up in, like, an hour. And that's my plan, is to come pick it up in, like, an hour. So I have some time to play the thing. Hopefully I'm not playing for the entire hour, because I know some people get really upset about that, apparently. If I play for longer than 20 minutes, they're like, Your video's too long. Why are you playing your video for so long? I don't like it when your video is shorter. And then I have some people who are like, Hey, I like the long videos. So, hey. Suck it. Um, I don't time my video. I do sometimes. Like, I'll be like, Okay, I don't want to do a video that's over. Like an hour. I, I, I never want my videos to be over an hour long. And I don't know when I started recording. I know that I started recording at 9 something. And now it's 10. 15. So I've been going for at least 15 minutes. And I tend to cut some stuff out sometimes. You may not notice just because I'm. Dang it! Oh good. Such I'm, such, I'm a good professional video editor. <laughs> ah someone lied to me. They said if you're going to sneeze. <clears throat> put your teeth to your tongue. Put your teeth against your tongue. Same thing. Um, to do that, I tried to do it, and it just hurt. <clears throat> All it did was hurt me. But yeah, I'll cut some stuff out because I'm an excellent video editor. I actually went to school for some video editing stuff, and uh, gotta say, it's really hard if you don't have the tools. I mean, you can get some stuff done, but yeah, I, I went to school as in I in high school we had a, a course that you could take called CART for the Center of Advanced Research and Technology. What I did was, <clears throat> and I got a lot of crazy stories about <clears throat> mother frickin my voice hurts it hurts to speak uh, but I went to this what it was was I would go to my high school for um, let me put it this way I would go to one school I would go to cart in the mornings for morning school okay so normally you go to high school and you go to school at like eight or seven or whatever I don't remember um, and then you're there all day until like three right that's how it works is that how school works I think that I'm remembering this correct I don't quite remember um but that's what you do you wake up at like 6 you get ready you're at school by like 7 30 uh, school starts at 8 ish and then uh <coughs> hello Joe 2013 and then um you're there at school all day well cart was really cool because I actually got two schools and I know what you're thinking you're thinking two schools that's my ever-living nightmare I have that dream every now and then and boy do I wake up screaming in the middle of the night two schools look at this guy no because what I do is um I was really into film I still am really into film and writing and directing and producing and stuff like that but um since I was into that what I did was for the first half of school so up until lunchtime pretty much I would go and to, to a different school I'd go to CART the Center for Advanced Research and Technology and we would work on making movies and getting to learn the industry and graphic design you, you learn a bunch of stuff so I learned graphic design I learned movie making I learned some of the basic stuff that goes into that we made posters we made movies I have a couple movies that I made like just little short films out on the internet somewhere um, they're not great you know at the time I was like this is the best thing ever oh my gosh I'm actually making movies and now I look back and I'm like sweet Lottie what in the world was I doing what was I making I mean, some of the storylines were really great. I had this one, um, because one of the assignments was I had to make a movie that involved time travel, which is, like, the coolest assignment you can ever have in the world. Is like, okay, here's your assignment. Here, it was actually, like, the final, like, the big project of the year. The thing was, like, if you didn't do this project, there's no way you were passing the class. Um, but we had to make a movie that, regard, that, in, that involved time travel. And I actually got to be the writer of the script for that. And so my script was really interesting because I love to write stuff. And they said, your script has to be about 20 pages. No, 10 pages long. Your script had to be about 10 pages long because it was going to be like a 5 to 10 minute movie. 
So I was like, okay, cool. So I wrote that, and then just for funsies, I actually wrote the script to be like 30 pages long. Because I was like, what if I made, it made a sequel, but I put it all in one movie? So we did that, and I made the whole thing, but in reality, the, the real script was only 10 pages long. And it had to involve time travel. So I had this idea of... Um, it had references to other time travel movies and other like space movies all throughout because I love when they do that. It's called homage or an homage, depending on how you pronounce it. But I would do those all throughout the entire movie. Like the time machine's name was um, Dave, and it was a big red glowing light as a reference to 2001: A Space Odyssey. Great movie, um, just really really good movie. I believe it's Stanley Kubrick, but really great movie. I'm gonna say don't watch it though, um, unless you're into film. Because I watched it early, 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 early in the semester when I really was not into film yet. And I did not appreciate it at all. And I, I even told my, my teacher, you know, I was like, you know, this movie's really boring. They don't do anything. And he's like, that's how movies were back in the day. What it was was it was actually a sci-fi horror movie. But it was so, like, out and so far-fetching from what we have nowadays that it was just like, you know, it's not scary. But back in the day, that was terrifying. But yeah, really good movie. Uh, 2001 a space odyssey and the villain in the movie's name was dave um he was a, a robot time machine and i just gave away the ending i realized but um the ending to my movie is that uh you know he was a robot time machine thing and he would you just ask him and he was like he was an elevator was what he was like you can go up and down and so it's a story about kids who have a project due and they didn't do it and they're like, man, we gotta fill... Oh, it's really meta. I wanted it to be super meta. It's a story about kids who have to make a movie about time travel, and they don't they do not do it. And then they, they're like, man, we need to film this thing. Well, where can we film it at? And it's like, oh, there's this secret underground basement in the school that we can use. Which I know you're like, oh, what a crazy trope. There's a secret room that no one ever uses in the school, and we can go there. And it'll be great, because no one will recognize the room, so it looks like we went out of our way to go find a place that uh, to film. And everyone's like, man, that's really cool, like, little dungeon area. But that, the thing about that is, people were like, the same thing. They're like, oh, pff, that same trope that everyone uses. Oh, there's a secret room that we can use. But in reality, Cart actually had that. It had a secret, like, underground basement that no one knew was there. And we just happened to hear about it. And we told, like, the faculty, we're like, hey, can we, can we use that basement? And they were like, how did you hear about the basement? And we were like, yeah, you know, we just heard about it. We want to know if it was real and if we could use it for our movie. And they were like, uh, sure. So we went down there. And there's an elevator. Cart has an elevator. And we used the elevator. We did some <coughs> video editing to make the elevator have this big red glowing eye. Um, that we used for the movie to be the antagonist. But we find the thing and it's at first we're friendly with it. And it's like, hello, how can I help you today? I am Dave, the data analysis virtual entity. So we use that and we go back in time to pretty much tell ourselves, hey, we got to work on this project or else we're going to fail the class. So we, so we go back in time and tell ourselves that. Come back into the future and find out that us doing that caused this big catastrophic thing, this big horrible, horror like world shattering thing. You know, like it's basically the Sound of Thunder, which is another reference in there. If you haven't read Sound of Thunder, it's about a guy who goes back in time on a safari, um, ends up killing a butterfly, and it changes the entire future, and he ruins the world because he killed a butterfly. And it's where that phrase butterfly effect comes from, is from that story on um, the Sound of Thunder. But yeah, read it. That's actually a really good book. I think it's a page and a half long, but it's not a book. It's a story, like a short story. Really good. I suggest you read it. Sound of Thunder. Um, but yeah. So there was that. And so we're like, oh my gosh, we have to go back in. That was the, this is the tagline of the movie. We have to go back in time to stop ourselves from stopping ourselves. Because yes, we'll fail but, and we'll probably get kicked out of school. But, you know, the future saved. We're fine. We'll be okay. So that happens, we go back in time, and we stop ourselves. It had to be five minutes, so there had to be a really quick and easy thing. And it was kind of funny, because um, the editing was done... It was one of the few things that I learned how to do really, really well. Like, the one thing that I felt that I was just great at with um, the editing process was that I could make... I could make myself have a conversation with myself. It was, like, one of the few things that I was good at in that um, whole class. Was making a person have a conversation with themselves. And we did that like eight, ten times. So I think it was, ten, we did like ten times, where someone is talking to themselves from three days ago. And it was really cool. Um, really fun to work with that type of thing. We actually won an award for it <coughs> from the school. as the, uh, the, the we, we won the Student's Choice Award, 
which meant that people voted and the, the students decided that ours was the best. Which, honestly, it wasn't. It was not the best. There were a lot that were better than ours. Um, but I gotta go back and get snow. I thought I had snow here. But we were happy about it anyway, you know? It was cool to get to win that thing. So, yeah, we won that thing uh, with us going back in time to stop ourselves from stopping ourselves from uh, just failing. So we, we found out, oh, we have to fail to save the world. So we failed, we saved the world, everyone thought it was great, it was fun. It starred us who were making the project, so it was really meta to be like, oh, I get it. And then at the end, we did have a finished project. So it was like, oh no, the world's gonna end because they got a finished project, ha ha ha, I get the joke there. Really fun. But here's the cool thing about Cart. I am told you about the movie. Let me tell you the cool thing about Cart. The cool thing about Cart is um, one of the many cool things about the Center for Advanced Research and Technology was that um, it didn't... I, I went there for half the day, and then at lunch I would go to my regular school, my regular high school. The cool thing about that is that the schedules did not line up perfectly. So I would get out of Cart and have, I think it was like two and a half hours until my next class because it was partial lunch and then I missed an entire class because I didn't have time to get to that class they just didn't schedule me one so it was really cool I had a two-hour lunch every day and every day I was stopped by a faculty member I was stopped by someone who worked for the school who was like hey um why aren't you in class because I would walk to school so I'd walk to school like for lunch so I walked to school during class time so I could get there for lunch time and I walked to school, and um, they had faculty, you know, they have like the yard duty type teacher people, the security, make sure you don't run away from school or whatever. We're there, and they're like, hey, where are you going? And I'd be like, oh, I'm just trying to get to class. I'm trying to get to school. They're like, well, why aren't you in class? And I'm like, um, because I go to car. And I do this every day. <clears throat> I was, every day I would go, and they'd be like, why aren't you in class? And I'm like, I go to car. And they're like, and the teacher had no idea what that was. They're like, um, I don't know what that is. Like, okay, so it's this extra thing. I get out at this time, so I, I have to come here. So they didn't schedule me a class here because this basically this entire story that I just told you, I'd have to tell them every day. And I got really tired of it. Because it was annoying, because it was like, you work here, dude. Why don't you know the basics of what go on at the school that you work at? The fact that they're that I have the option to go to cart. The only drawback to that is that I have a two hour lunch because I can't go to half of a class every day. And I'll go and I would tell them every day, and they were like, they, they never believed me was the other thing. They thought that I was skipping school, but I'm like, even if I am skipping school, I'm trying to get into the school. What are you going to do? Like, you're going to say, no, go back home? I go to that school. I, I'm trying to get into the school, and they were actively stopping me from going to class. So I was like, please, just let me go. I want to hang out with my friends for my lunch. I don't want to sit at home until class time starts. So they're always kind of side-eye me. They just like, all right, I guess I'll let you buy this time. And I'm like, good, because otherwise you're keeping me from, you're literally not doing your job. Like, you're doing the one thing that you're not supposed to do as a teacher, which is keep me from learning. I want to go to school. So I got to school, and it was great. Because um, I would, because the best part was just that it didn't overlap, right? So I had a two-hour lunch. So often me and my friends from CART would go and just like, what happened there? would just go and like chill like we'd go to pizza and in and out because cart was located um attached to a mall this is the perfect school i'm telling you that right now like i know you're probably not believing me but this is the perfect school it was attached to a mall so we would just go hang out at the mall or go eat because there was a dining court there and it was an outdoor mall so it was all really nice like it wasn't like we were forced to be in like some janky mall but um yeah it was really cool we go we hang out get pizza every day and then go to school. Like my parents would give me money. He was like, here's your money to get lunch at school. And I'm like, thanks. And I would just go to Mean Ed's. Or we'd go to like Pizza Hut or something. And it was really awesome. You know? That was like one of my best school experiences. Was getting to go to CART. And um, yeah. I say that to say. Yeah, I have this video editing knowledge. Of just like rule of thirds. And I read the book in the blink of an eye. And how like editing works in the brain. Really cool stuff. Really interesting. Um, only issue is I never use any of it anymore. Now you're like, but you make your videos all the time. I'm like, yes. Yes, I do. And then I have friends who are making music videos right now because they're actually using what they learned to the proper extent. 
and who are directing and editing and filmmaking and stuff like that. But you know what? I, I learned that my favorite part was not the directing and the filmmaking stuff. That was a ton of fun. Don't get me wrong. I loved every second of it. But I loved the writing aspect. So now I, I write. I actually have a book that I need to finish writing. Oh my gosh. I need to finish writing this book. But I don't know if I ever will just because um, I'm lazy. And because it took me so long to write. It took me about a year. I know you people are like, real writers are like, a year? I wish I could write a book in a year. My Harry Potter took me nine years to write. Do, 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 do. Yes. But the thing is, it's not perfect. It's pretty much just, in my opinion, it's good. All my friends who have read it, it say it's good. I like the book, but I wrote it. So my opinion does not really count. Oh, yeah, I will. Oh, that was my question. Where do I find it? Haha. -ha. Is it on Steam? But, yeah. What was I saying? Free game. Okay, I'll just look it up. Shellshock uh, Live 2. Shellshock Live 2? A, I keep losing it. Shellshock Live. Two. Yeah, I'll, I'll check it out. You can get it on Steam too. Sick, bro. I'll do that. But, um, what was I saying right now? Something about my life being just horrible garbage. Um, I mean, I don't like to check out the videos on YouTube, actually. If I can avoid it, I will. Just because I don't like to see what other people are doing. I don't like to see how to beat the game. Um, sometimes. Five Nights at Freddy's, obviously, I watched a ton of. And then I played it, and I don't think I ever released, I think I released one with my just crappy camera that did not do, like, nothing. But yeah. This is probably going to be a two-parter. Hey, um, I'm just going to do my intro now, so I don't got to worry about it later. 